240 bedrooms, 300 baths, and two stoke newbies. Oh, make that one stoke father and one daughter who's kind of into it. How did you get them to hire you as the manager of the whole hotel? Well, I told them I've been managing a small workforce for the past nine years. Who are you calling small? Oh, apologies. Managing a workforce that's going through a growth spurt any day now. Better. So what do we give this? Two weeks? Three weeks? <sighs> Can we try to make this last? I'm sick of moving. We live like bank robbers. Only without the money, high-speed chases, and ski mask. Hi. Are you the new bellboy? Actually, I am the new night, night manager. I'm aware. Your age reveals the sadness of your story. <laughs> I'm Flint, the day manager. Oh, goody, you brought a child. <laughs> this is my daughter, Jasper. Friends and well-wishers call me Jazzy. Sounds good, Jasper. <laughs> I see, we're gonna be like enemies who secretly kind of like each other. Mm, more like Elsa and the townspeople before she turns the village to spring. What, I'm super into Frozen. <laughs> Any who's once you pawn little orphan Jasper off here, I'll go ahead and find Perry to learn the ways of the Hotel de Lune. Will you be okay? Don't worry, Father, I'll explore while you two adult for a little bit. That sounds promising. By the way, does anyone take bags here? Woo! <laughs> Worst staff ever. Best staff ever. <laughs> so we, bellboy ticket? Totally. Not as cool as a skateboard, but way more dangerous than a Corolla. I give it four stars. Mm -hmm. Write that down, Amber. I'm good. Alex, pay attention. There's a funky tween that's been waiting for you. P.S. I love your style. Where do you shop? I don't shop, I find. That's so cool. I'm so basic, I just shop at a store. Amber, front desk concierge. Jazzy, and what does he do? He doesn't do anything. He's Amber's friend. Brother. Boyfriend. <laughs> and I don't hang out with five-year-olds. No, I wish I was five. <laughs> I'm nine. What do you guys do around this joint? Nothing exciting ever happens around here. Ha! Did somebody say nothing exciting ever happens around here? Balderdash! <laughs> Balderdash and poppycock. Today is very exciting. Attention, staff of mine. Attention, everyone gather. Who's that guy? Oh, that's the owner. Casper. He's rich enough to wear a cape when it's not Halloween. <laughs> Everything must be perfect. Our secret guests are about to arrive. For real. What? The world famous boy band, For Real. What? It's clever because there's four of them. Soup's clever. Yeah. There will be no freaking out. I demand professional behavior. That means you, Amber, Alex, Children, I don't know. Jazzy, singular child. <laughs> ah, they're here, they're here. Oh my God, oh, they're my, <laughs> Oh my God, they're entering my hotel. Oh my God. Hotel ghost I've read about. I'm a real kid. Disappointed. I know. <laughs> Hardly. Between that boy band and that house plan, I'm living my best life. Want to see something cool? I'm dying to. If you stand really, really still, you can actually see the plant grow. And I'm dead. <laughs> so, who are you? Graham Browning, only son of the head chef, and until now, the only kid at the Hotel de Lune. So technically, you're on my turf. A second thought, let's share. Being turf leader can be lonely. We already have something in common. I love plants. Really? My dad was a horticulturist in the highest peak of the Himalayan mountains, from when I was seven to seven and three quarters. I always wanted to meet the child of a horticulturist. The only plant my mom works with is broccoli. So, you gonna give me the grand tour or what? I won't give you the grand tour, but I will give you the grand tour, and it's gonna blow your mind. Beep, beep. <laughs> Was that a joke? They can't all be winners. <laughs> and this is a ficus. 
donated to the hotel in 2014. She was the first plant I ever sketched. I call her Beulah. Given your Graham tour, have you showed her that mysterious room 333? What's room 333? Just some old hotel legend. Hmm. That's what the last children who lived here said. What happened to them? They grew up, lived boring lives, because they never went near room 333. But I can tell you have what it takes to go in. Plus, I want to know. Don't you have something to clean? Oh, yeah. The floor. Oh, Grammy Cracker, would you? Oh, I got those old knees and a bad back. Please. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mr. Spot. Where? Oh, on my back. <laughs> so, what do you think? Well, if I wanted diabetes, I could do worse. Oh. <laughs> well, coming from you, I'll take that. You haven't seen Graham, have you? Maybe he's found that other new little hotel runt. His first friend? Oh, I mean his new, new friend. <laughs> I bet you he's giving her the Graham tour. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> Let's go in. What do I look like? A kid that wasn't constantly consumed with the fear of death? This is not a stop on the Graham tour. The Graham tour needs work. Where are the trap doors and the secret dungeon? I'm just the kid trying to make it to dinner every day. Aren't you scared? Scared? From the time I was age two to three and a quarter. My dad and I lived in a deadly bug sanctuary in the outback. From when I was six to six and five eighths, my best friend was a deadly Siberian child assassin who was very emotional. Now that's scary. This is kid stuff. Beware room 333. It will spell your doom. Don't you want to know what's in that room? Don't listen to that old bag. No, you're the old bag. Oh. Oh. Ladies, oh. ladies, you're both old bags. Oh. <laughs> your window is closing. That was a clue! Uh. <laughs> Looks like we have a real life mystery in our hands. Locked. Dang it, we need a key. I'm gonna disagree with you there, Jasper. Call me Jazzy. Call me Grazzy. Grazzy. Let's think to Graham for me. <laughs> Anyways, what's so mysterious about a hotel door that's never been opened and no one's allowed to go in? Literally everything you just said. You in or out? As the only kid the residence, we should stick together. However. Hey, wait up! I'm in! I'm in! <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. What? Where you're going? <laughs> now I'm covered in your germs. Oh, I'm 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 sorry. I, I don't think I'm covered in that many germs, though. <laughs> um, are you Perry by any chance? Who cares about? Perry! <laughs> no, ma'am. For Real is not staying here. That must be a rumor. Then why are you wearing this shirt? Someone left it in the lost and found, and I can't afford real clothes! <laughs> I can't believe For Real is staying here tonight. Raphael is the hottest guy alive. Uh. Second hottest. Uh. Yep, second hottest. <laughs> Babe, you gotta get me into the band's room. Come on. Trust me, there is nothing I want more in this world than to talk to Raphael in person. But Casper would kill you. And Flint would bury you in an unmarked grave. Uh. No, 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 don't listen to him. Just imagine us. You and I traveling the world, Tokyo, Paris, Ibiza, Botswana, Septrivia. Pretty sure you made up one of those, but even if I got the room key, you don't have your turntables. Oh, babe. We need your help. 
We need to get into room 333. The mystery room that no one's ever been in? Why would you want to go in there? Two words, mystery room. Oh. <laughs> Weird, that key is missing. Can you check the room's history? It seems like no one's ever even checked in. Come on, babe, our window to get in with for real is closing. That's it, I figured it out. <laughs> figured it out, Dance. <laughs> Amber, do you have the key to the room next door? Room 331? I sure do. You're only nine and you're a genius. No wonder why you're a detective. Uh, I'm only 23 and I'm a genius too. Yeah, and that's why you're a DJ. He gets it. <laughs> so we just go through this balcony to room 333's balcony. I can feel the evil through the wall. Please, it's probably a normal evil free room where they probably keep all the hotel's gold. Or color chocolate. Oh, or where they keep all the curious children who dare to break into the hotel secret locked room. Well, only one way to find out. Out you go. I'm going, I'm going. It's actually a pretty nice view. You coming? Actually, I'm gonna leave this one to you. Wait, what are you talking about? This is your thing. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Wait, are you? Are you scared? Me? I'm not scared. I'm terrified. <laughs> I thought you weren't afraid of anything. Weren't you a master detective? Of course not. I never lived on a mountain or in the outback. I never had an emotionally unstable assassin best friend. I never even had a friend. This hotel is my new home and I just wanted you to like me. Oh my God, there's a bug. We're gonna die. Calm down, I'm here. I'm not gonna let that little bug hurt you. Just trust me. Now let's go into that room and kill some ghosts. Or whatever we're doing. Alex, you pretend to be the bellboy with the bag that you forgot to deliver. Okay. Yeah. Wait, I am the bellboy. Guys! too risky. If I lose this job, I'll run out of money and I'll have to quit school. Oh, babe, I'll homeschool you. <laughs> we cannot get caught. <laughs> Alex, the suitcase, it's time. We're not missing a suitcase, are we? <laughs> Wait, you guys aren't pretending to be the bellboys so you can deliver some bag and sneak into our room, are you? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> oh, <that's so> <laughs> And I am the bellboy? <laughs> sure you are. Oh, hi, Raphael. <laughs> Every time, man. <laughs> right? Well, while we're here, you know, we're big fans, and I know For Real has a DJ-sized hole in their heart. And I'm here to fill it. Who is this dude? He's her boyfriend. No, actually, we have a press junket, and our DJ just bailed. What do you say? For real? Let's discuss. Let's discuss? <laughs> that is the tail. Amber. Please give him a shot. Wait, where's that funky tween that smells like baby Tylenol? No, no, oh, no, oh, no, it's locked. Someone really doesn't want us getting in there. Now we're stuck, we're gonna die. We are? I don't know. I was just trying to support you because we're friends. Okay. Okay, Graham, focus. What do detectives do when they get in bad stuff? I have an idea, just follow my lead. <gasps> Mommy! Mommy, help me! Mommy, please! Mommy! Really, really. You have something better in mind? Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay, guys. Yeah, that's right. What crap? Yeah. Okay. I feel. Are you feeling it? Yes. Yeah. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. Okay, let's cut the DJ stuff. What, what, what? Thanks. Oh. Okay, please welcome Raphael, Pauly Z, Vermeer, and Tyler for real. Girl, I want 
sure. What's that yelling? I don't know. Bands? <laughs> Pay no mind, keep singing. Attention staff emergency. Two irritating children who thought they were so smart are now trapped somewhere in the hotel. It's handled, proceed. Oh, Jenny. Graham. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh. Get, Get out of my way. way. What the it's like he's yelling. yelling. Perry, are you okay? I am, thank you. I'm oh. so sorry. Are you Carrie? Yeah. Uh, I'm Kenneth. I'm the new night manager. Oh. Uh, I've been looking for you all day. Oh, it's nice to meet you, but I really have to go find my kid who's trapped somewhere in this hotel. Mine too. How could this happen? My graham cracker never gets into trouble. Well, mine too. I'm oh, sorry. I, I meant always. My kid always gets in trouble. Oh. <laughs> Girl. Sorry, sorry. Can, can we stop? We can't perform while there's two kids yelling for help. Oh, of course. That's so compassionate of you. <laughs> Kids, it's Raphael from For Real. Where are you trapped? Can we help? We're... Somewhere we're not supposed to be, which was all Jazzy's idea! Ram! <laughs> we're trapped on the balcony outside of the mystery room. Someone's got to let us in there so we can rescue those kids. Fine, we will rescue you and destroy that evil little bug. And so I shall end an era of secrecy by opening up my private, personal secret room, which nobody has ever been in before, but does not contain anything embarrassing in any way. <laughs> Some might call me a hero, and they'd be right. Let's go. I was getting to that. <laughs> to the children. So, what's in this secret room anyway? Help! Please help me! Help! We need you! You are rescued! Oh, no, that's what I call an entrance. Mommy, I'm so sorry. I'll never break the rules again. It's okay, I'm here. Jazzy? I'll probably break the rules lots more times. Yeah. <laughs> At least she's honest. <laughs> <laughs> so, the truth about the mysterious room, 333, is way weirder than I could imagine. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna say. <laughs> You're a big fan, huh? Even bigger than our moms. I just... I just think you're so good. Hey, we love our fans. Even 35-year-old fans with whole rooms dedicated to us. <laughs> it happens more often than you guys think. <laughs> well, don't worry, you know, it's not like I'm gonna lock you in, trapping you inside my secret memorabilia room, thereby ensuring I have the most precious band memorabilia of all, the band itself. <laughs> that would be crazy. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go. Hey, for real. <laughs> I am so sorry about, you know, the um the mess. Oh, it's um surprisingly delicious. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone out of my secret room. All of you. Every moment you're in here, I feel violated. Go! 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 Oh, I'm so sorry. I told you that room would spell your doom. Mother, your one job was to keep people from going into my room, and you couldn't even do that. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Look! Maybe hotel life won't be so bad. I've already made a friend. And we solved the legendary mystery. You know, I'll leave the victory dancing to you. Good call. <laughs> you hear that? Sounds like another mystery. You in, Detective Graham? I don't know, I'm really more of a desk cop. <laughs> This is so exciting. TV shows never film here. Not since the incident. <sighs>
You kicked Tom Hanks one time, and the whole town holds a grudge. You kicked Tom Hanks? I mean, barely. Hiya! Oh. <laughs> Kids Who Can Cook is my favorite show. I just love watching children in positions of power. Also, the food. Oh, the, the food! food. <laughs> what do you think they're doing there right now? Ooh, I... I'm gonna take a wild guess and say, they're shooting at the Kids Who Can Cook finale. But which part? Is Cam Whitman delivering the intro? Is Sebastian Cole knuckling down for his mm. subpar tapa? Have they lifted the lid to reveal the secret ingredient yet? Ugh, oh, this kind of fuss is gonna send me back to therapy. <laughs> Let me just use my powers. Yes, they're doing all of those things. Jazzy, I'm not gonna fall for that again. <laughs> It isn't the Nightcrawler. Ah, oh, the Wicked Witch of the Day Shift. <laughs> isn't this lovely? We call this the changing of the guard ceremony. Knights, take your stance. <laughs> Every morning, my night manager is replaced by my day manager. Like a glorious sunrise, we say goodbye to the cold, bitter night and hello to the short, bitter day. <laughs> mm, I make them do this. <laughs> Wonderful. He serves at the pleasure of the king. And the moment that we've been waiting for, underneath this lid, is the secret ingredient that our three chefs are going to use in their final dish. Here it comes. Sebastian Cole, our grand inquisitor. Do your worst! Sebastian Cole is my mom's favorite chef. He looks like an anchovy. <gasps> cut! Cut! Where's the ingredient, guys? Is the secret ingredient air? <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? The one in the middle should be a model? <laughs> no! The missing ingredient. We have to find it. Excuse me, this is a close set. Are you supposed to be here? If I were, would I be here? <laughs> What's your name and the name of your supervisor? <laughs> Official police business. But thank you for your service. <laughs> be on the watch for clues, drips, spills from a runaway culprit. There! Good work. Now we need to know if that's food. Taste it. But it's been on the floor for more than five seconds. <laughs> It has a smell. It's somewhere in between gym socks and sugary dirt. <laughs> Follow the scent. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Cole, can we ask you a few questions regarding the theft of the secret ingredient? Mm, I cannot say a word. Might give away the reveal, but it does have a scent. Now, if you'll excuse me. Can I get an autograph from my mom? She's the head chef here. You can sign off. Here. This is where cooking goes. No. I can't take you anywhere. He was mean. <laughs> oh, my God. That's Sebastian Cole. Oh, I love him. <laughs> Okay, I have to be cool. I would help, yeah, help me cool. <laughs> Mr. Cole. No autograph. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, no, of course not. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a fellow chef, uh, uh, as you can tell by my outfit, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> you must be hungry. Let me cook for you. Oh, I'm always hungry, but I'm rarely satisfied. Since you offered, hit me with your best cuisine. I'm going to thrill you. <laughs> okay, let's review our evidence so far. We have a smelly rock and what we suppose is food. And what we believe to be the missing food. But who stole it? Our suspects so far are Flint. Obviously. And Mrs. Morehouse. Yep. And your mom. And the hamburger? Graham? Graham! Hello? Oh, just go talk to her. What? Oh, no, that is not me. Get her out of your system. 
that I've never actually talked to a girl before. I'm a girl. Like a real girl. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Graham. Are you a fan of the show? Oh my gosh, I love, I mean, yes, and you're great on it. <laughs> Thanks, you're kind of cute. I'd love to show you around the hotel. I'd love that. Show me the kitchen, I'll make you my famous banana bread. <laughs> Next. Next. More. <laughs> yep. Morgan. Graham, are you itching yourself? No. Because you're allergic to bananas? Only a little. We have a mystery to solve, and I don't need you yakking on the case. A mystery? What mystery? To find the missing cooking ingredient that's stopping you from culinary gold. What do you mean? We're trying to get you back on TV and save Graham's favorite TV show. Oh, don't worry about it. Might as well make the best of it. You know, when life gives you lemons, make banana bread. I feel funny. <laughs> What are you doing on my feet? Are those your gym shoes? <laughs> Forget everything you just saw. <laughs> Looks like we've hit a bunch of gross dead ends. I wonder what Emma's up to. Graham, focus. I need us to figure this out. You're right. No distractions. I'm locked in. <laughs> hey, is this thing a pink birthmark or a high? Well, do you like this one? Not quite. You know what? You're right. You are unsatisfiable. <laughs> oh, I am. So sorry, I did not mean to do that. Actually, I did, but I truly regret it right now. I said I did not like your dessert because oh, I loved it. I am so, so, so sorry. Wait, what? <laughs> you do? But you seem so angry. Well, that's just my face and my voice. It's in my contract. Which is why you are such a great judge. Don't touch me. <laughs> Yeah? Oh. <laughs> totally stumped. Could this be the first mission we don't solve? You're bright red. I'm just blushing over Emma. Don't sweat it. I'm not sweating it! You're sweating it! <laughs> All this for a girl? Not just any girl. A reality television star. <laughs> Graham, I need more banana bread. You? You stand back. What did I do? Graham is allergic to bananas. What? But bananas are my favorite food. This will never work. No, I'm fine. I'm just dizzy. <laughs> Graham! <laughs> what is this? Oh, nothing, nothing. The missing ingredient. The smell of the strange lump shape. Emma? No. Emma? <laughs> You stole the missing ingredient. And my heart. <laughs> I'm a good person, I swear. I didn't mean to steal it, I'm just under pressure. I would have loved you regardless. <laughs> I mean with my parents and Sebastian Cole. I can only make banana bread. I'm done with this time, my career is over. <laughs> it's not what you think, I'm a detective. <laughs> The daytime drama queen. Look who rose from his crypt. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Sunrise, sunset. It's time again for the changing of the guard ceremony. <laughs> oh, when we say goodnight to the woes of the day and hello to night's impending doom. 
Oh, I love it so much. I'm so glad I created it. Oh, wonderful, <laughs> wonderful again. Thank you. Oh, good God. Somebody get this tiny employee some Benadryl. <laughs> Are you my kid? This is the pretty great Sam Beanie. Never heard of him. Oh, you may not have heard of him, but you have met him when you were three. Uh, we worked together during my college magician days. The only thing I remember when I was three is wishing that I was nine. Now that I'm nine, I wish I was three. <laughs> It's so cool that the pretty great Sam Vini is doing a private show just for the staff. Hey, babe, what's crack a huh? Now, the disappearing act. <laughs> okay, move over. Uh-uh. Staff only event. Flint's pretty strict about this stuff. Actually, uh, Mateo's always here and he does nothing, so that pretty much makes him staff. <laughs> you heard him. Move over. Come on. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. I'm gonna go uh, find some water in a different life. <laughs> Come on. Everyone else gets to take the class pet for a weekend. Do you want me to look weird? You have multicolored hair. <laughs> Come on. It would be a little baby chicken. Her name is Chicken Tara, and she's the best chicken I've ever met. How many chickens have you met? I've eaten hundreds, and trust me, she's the best behaved. Okay, please. Uh, pets are forbidden in the hotel. If we get kicked out, where are we gonna live? In a box car? In a box car. I can have a baby chicken. I can't say no to you, Jasmine Taz, which means you need to be the adult and not get us kicked out. <laughs> you always get to be the kid. What? When? Oh, it's starting! Shh, be quiet! <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome to Magique, starring the pretty great Sambini. <laughs> Me. Woo! <laughs> Thank you all for being here. This, oh, this is a rehearsal, so <laughs> bear with me. Sorry, wait, wait, wait. I was gonna sit next to Kenny. Uh, he invited me. <laughs> well, you're wasting your time. Everybody knows Kenny and I are the will they or won't they couple in this hotel. <laughs> yeah, okay, back up. <laughs> Did he say yes to Chicken Tara? Short answer, no. Long answer, uh-oh. Maybe you shouldn't have volunteered. Where's she now? I thought he would have said yes. She's in my coat. For this trick, I need a volunteer. Oh, me! Me! <laughs> how, how about one of the kids? Oh, uh, Jazzy! Jazzy! <laughs> You will step into this magic box, and when you re-emerge, your most prized possession will have vanished. <laughs> Damn, come on, move over. Uh, no way, third wheel. Hey, hey, out there. I don't tolerate rowdy audiences. Be cool. Well, I'm cool. It was all this guy. No, it wasn't. Okay, on the count of three, you will be cool from now on. One, two, three. I don't usually break out the hypnosis this early, but I've got a show to do. It's cool, bro. Hey, we cool, bro? We cool? All right. Can we do this magic thing? I'm getting bored of standing here. <laughs> Into the magic box you go. Oh, presto. Change-o, and out of the magic box you come. Are you missing anything? Just my dignity. <laughs> oh, I stole her heart. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, I, I know, I, I've got to work on this trick. <laughs> Jim Tara's gone. I always thought magic was super fake and lame. It is, both. We need to get to the bottom of this. Sam? Hey, hey, it's Kenny! Oh, you probably don't remember. We used to work together. Oh, yeah! Hey. Hey, how's the magic going? Oh, 
slow, uh, you know, uh, some things get in the way. Dad, if you keep on saying that, I'm gonna believe you. I'm very impressionable. <laughs> she isn't. Uh, anyway, I do dream about going pro, but you know, got bills to pay. And I'm dreaming you will go to work. Now. <laughs> Duty calls. <laughs> Come on, guys. Just a second. <laughs> Mr. Sandini, <coughs> may we have a word? Abracadabra. Alakazam! Th th that's two. <laughs> we need that chicken back. Chicken? I ate the chicken, <laughs> but it was delicious. You ate chicken, Tara? Magicians really are the devil's assistants. Chicken Tara, they said it was chicken marsala. I'm sorry, I don't understand what you kids are talking about. Give up the chicken! We know you stole her, you chicken stealer! <laughs> <laughs> Let's start simple. Sambini, that's an interesting name. Where'd you get it from? My Italian magic mentor named me. Is that the truth or are you lying? <laughs> a, a magician never reveals his secrets. Well, do it anyway, Sam Beanie. <laughs> Fine. My good friends call me Sam and I used to wear beanies a lot and I miss them. And when I was 12, I, I stole my sister's retainer and I wore it and I don't know why. And last week I, I ate a cookie out of the trash can and this I'm isn't not... getting us anywhere closer to the chicken. <laughs> Never tell anyone what you told us. We'll leave you with your sadness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a pink ribbon. That sounds adorable. Maybe your chicken just ran away. Excuse me? Don't you think I would have felt it? Uh, are you trying to fight me, bro? She's just tense. If she doesn't bring Chicken Tara back to school on Monday, she's dead. Deader than Chicken Tara might be at this very minute. <laughs> I still think Sambini did it. Maybe he has a tiny friend who grabbed it and ran. Whoa, Alex? Hey, girl. Hey, cool haircut. That is so. It's just my hair. Alex, you're late. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Guess what? Hmm. I won't get right on that. <laughs> oh, oh, right on, bruh. Right on. Babe, you're right. Alex is not as lame as I usually say he is. Hey, you said I was not lame? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you so obsessed with me? <laughs> like, right? like, he's oh, out. Burn! burn! <sighs> bruh, do you want to go grab a beer? It's 11 a.m. Yeah. I'm down. <laughs> Never thought I'd say this, but maybe my tail was right. Maybe the chicken just ran away. It took one look at us and thought, nope, no way. <laughs> no, I'm a responsible adult child. I would never let this happen. She has to be around her somewhere. <sighs> I don't know who that is, but I'm already very afraid. <laughs> That's the health inspector. She comes every year. She has amazing timing. Guess my fear has pretty good intuition. Graham. You have to warn your mom. Health inspectors have a real thing about animals running around indoors. We have a very strict no animals policy here. Perry. <clears throat> Kids, we need to talk. I lost a class pet chicken, and there's a chance that it might reappear during the health inspection. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's okay. Oh, I told you. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> so, if you happen to see, like, a feather or, you know, hear clucking, <laughs> everything is fine. <laughs> Chef is funny. More weird than funny. <laughs> the kitchen, shall we? <laughs> I don't know what Kenny sees in her. <laughs>
know what you're thinking. He needs to practice. <laughs> which is why I'm gonna take next week off from work. Do you think that's a good idea? You might get fired. Jess, <clears throat> seeing Sambini reminded me how much I love this. This is what I wanted to do. And I still can if I quit work and go into magic full time. Let's just slow down. Ooh, and we can move! <laughs> Party on the road! Aren't you tired of living in this stuffy hotel that doesn't feel like home or even allow pets? Let's just think about this for a minute. Oh, exactly. Think of all the mysteries the road has to offer. Jasmine Taz, home is wherever we are, right? Okay. I know this is your dream, and I want to be supportive. Oh. You want to help me clean this up? No. <laughs> Bro, when she said he's your food, I knew I had No, I'm, I'm you know with you. No, absolutely. Bro, they always fall. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Hey. hey. How are you? How are you doing? What do you think, bro? Dude. A 10. A, a, a 10? Bro, she's like a 5. No girl's a 10. Dude, what about Amber, man? She's an 11. Uh, maybe you like her more than I do. Dude, that's your girlfriend. Not cool. Whoa, whoa, bro. Bros are never mean to other bros, just to everybody else. <laughs> Bromance down the toilet, bro. This was a bromance. Uh, yeah, now it's a no man's. Get it? <laughs> <sighs> bro, I'm out. Ouch. <laughs> You've been acting weird all day. Since last night, I felt weird. The hair, the attitude. Wait. What if that magician really did hypnotize me? Hmm. Huh. Well, I guess I'm not cool anymore. You've always been cool to me. Like a super lame, but also kind of cute cool. <laughs> been wanting to do that all day. <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> oh, you are thorough, aren't you? <laughs> I'm serious about health standards in this filthy city. I'm looking for signs of rodents, bugs, mold, anything that might shut you down. <laughs> Is that a feather? What? <laughs> what was that? What was what? <laughs> Is there a live animal in here? No. I, 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 I just have a tick. <laughs> There's a live animal in here. I want to see it. No, there is no live animal in here. <laughs> Bug! <laughs> My tick comes and goes. <laughs> Bug! No, I really... I've got to tell him he's a bad magician so he doesn't make us move and turn me into a hobo. <laughs> oh, Sam! Hey, look! Huh? We're doing the magician thing on the clock. Huh? Huh? Commitment. You could probably get fired for that. Let them fire the kind of great Kenny Eddie! <laughs> Kenny, I think you should keep doing the magic. I can see how much you love it. And you should never give up on the magic you want in your life. Hats off to you. That's all I ever wanted to hear. Sorry, kid. Dad, grow up. I don't want to go on the road and leave my new home and my new friend. I want to stay here and be a kid, a very adult-like kid, and you be my dad, a very child-like dad. We're a team, right? That's my girl. I love magic, but I love something else even more. <clears throat> Wait, you didn't solve your mystery. Nope, but I solved my life. <laughs> and now, using magic and the help of my lovely assistant, the tiny Jazzini, <laughs> I will make this ordinary apple disappear. Even better than I thought. <laughs> Did you do that? Amber. 
They're going to be here in two hours. Who are? My new friends. I'm having a sleepover party. Friends, congrats. So I was thinking, games, pillow fights, and homework station. Homework station? You're right. It should be a homework room. <laughs> Have you ever had a sleepover before? Can you tell? I'm starting to think Aunt Matilda isn't the best for babysitting. Tell me about this Matilda. She's older than a dinosaur, and she thinks that Spotify is a cleaning detergent. We can't have that. Hello, Aunt Matilda? Hi, it's Amber from Hotel de Lune. We're not going to be needing your babysitting services this evening. Great, great, thank you. Bye. You can do that? Stick with me, kid. I'm going to take your sleepover to the next level. Mrs. Morehouse? Present. <laughs> Ma'am, the computer, I'm out for the day. <sighs> Man, the computer. <sighs> Boy, good afternoon. <laughs> oh, I love it. Mrs. Morehouse? Why are you behind the desk? Where's Amber? Who's Amber? <laughs> Should we call 911? Just because Amber's missing. So you agree she's a missing person? Let me call Jazzy. <laughs> Her line is off the hook. Busy tone? <laughs> Hello, I'd like to order two pizzas. Do girls even have pizzas at sleepovers? I don't remember. We're screwed, aren't we? <laughs> Wait, what are you doing now? Calling 911. Wait. If Amber and Jazzy are missing, then that means they're gone. And if they're gone, then that means... You'll have to find a new love interest? No more drama. A girl-free hotel. Our girl-free hotel. Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> Stop. I'm sorry, sir. I tried to call, but there's no dial tone. That's, That's a, a credit card, card machine. <laughs> we would love to speak to Amber. Could we speak to Amber? And I'd love it if somebody could help us with our bags. Our bellman is missing as well. Missing? People are missing. Would have been nice to know before we booked the room. Could have used a text alert. <laughs> What's a text alert? <laughs> a little to the left, now a little to the right. So in the middle? I give up. Let's talk sleeping arrangements. This part is key. You can't have a bedwetter on the couch and a snorer in the hall. It echoes. So, um, Trisha, Tanya, and Sadie. Bedwetter? Bedwetter. Good. <laughs> what are we doing? What the girls would never let us do. Let's knock on doors and talk to strangers. <laughs> Let's do it. No, thank you. But we're not selling anything. I didn't order any Girl Scout cookies. But we're not girls. <laughs> Is that you, Margaret? My darling dove. <laughs> this is my go-to sleepover box. It has everything you need. This looks like a time capsule from Ken's first marriage. <laughs> It is, but retro is a thing, right? What is this? That's a spirit board. It helps you connect with the dead. What? Yeah. When my neighbor Jerry died, I asked the board what happened. Hot dog eating contest. <laughs> what if it could help us plan a sleepover? That's brilliant. You're brilliant. You're a genius. <laughs> it's just a game. The board told me I was going to die on September 13th. That's tomorrow. <laughs> Let's not pick it up, okay? I don't want to die. Ready? Uh... Hi, this is Mrs. Morehouse. Uh-huh. Yes, dearie, right after I change my diaper. That's right, Finny, I'm a baby. <laughs> Just a second, dear. I'm looking for my teeth. 
Ma'am, I'm just trying to give you back your pen. Oh. Now, how do you turn this television off? Who are those girls? You think they're moving in? We lose two girls and inherit three? Now think, we were making progress. <laughs> it's Flint Duck! Hey, Mrs. Morehouse. <laughs> Mrs. Morehouse? Jazzy? Cool apartment. I call sleeping here. I'm here. Is there a sleeping bag for me? Sadie! <laughs> You're in the bathroom. Yay! 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 <laughs> Ladies, can I interest anyone in a soda or a hot chocolate? I'll take a sparkling water with lemon. A kale smoothie. Do you have Red Bull? <laughs> How long have you been behind the desk, Mrs. Morehouse? And, uh, where's Amber? She left right around the time I was supposed to take the pill for my afternoon nap. <laughs> or am I sleeping right now? <laughs> Napping pills? <laughs> Do you have any extras? <laughs> no, no, no. Never mind. I'm gonna go find Amber. Don't touch that computer. What's a computer, dear? <laughs> Amber. Tom is such a goober. Yeah. yeah. I heard he watches Spanish soap operas in his free time. I heard he puts ketchup in his peanut butter. Ew. <laughs> you know what I heard? That Selena wears makeup to bed. You wear diapers to bed. As a fashion statement. <laughs> and because of nerves. Sadie, it's fine. We all have secrets. I don't have a secret. Uh, okay. Sure. <laughs> I bet the spirit board could tell us what your secrets are. Oh, guys. Uh... Amber! 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 Are you in here? When I find you, you will be. Okay, Spirit Intelligence, tell us Tanya's most secretive secret. Oh, guys, I'm telling you, after years of analysis, I'm required to be transparent. <laughs> Shh! It's moving! K-I-S-S-T-O-M? You kissed Tom? I did not kiss Tom, that's not true! <laughs> Wait, it's still moving. D E M O. Demon once? It's spelled demon, not damn it! Ah! I'm not a demon! Let's get rid of this thing! A spirit board? Radical! Let's ask it why Flint smells like cardboard. Yeah, do, do, do. Dearly divine spirits. Amber, where are you? Oh, you are so fired. <laughs> Someone light a candle! Ah, here, here! Okay. I thought I was a goner. Wait a second. Where's Sadie? In the bathroom. The nerves. Okay. Oh, my God. Guys, I think we should leave. I don't feel safe in here. Leave to where? Anywhere? Yeah. <laughs> Guys? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, just a second, sorry. Arthur! Arthur, is that you? Who's Arthur? My beloved Arthur. He left me 32 years ago yesterday. It's a power outage, not Arthur. Knock, knock. Who's in there? <laughs> Arthur's in there. Arthur. Arthur. Oh, 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 what 
was that? I don't know, man. But it was a close call. What if it was a sign? A sign about what? That Flint is cardboard. Like a 2D cutout? He barely blinks. <laughs> Yes, 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 I understand. You only eat oatmeal, but when the power is off, that means your microwave is off. Okay, this is ridiculous. ridiculous. Look, we need some answers. We're preferred customers. The website said there'd be light. All right, all right, okay. All right, all right, everyone. I am gonna try to take care of all of this for you. Now, while I go mess with the electrical box, you can share your grievances here with Mrs. Morehouse. I'm sure she can read you a bedtime story or something. Oh, you know what? Tell them about that time you went to Palm Springs, Mrs. Morehouse. Okay. I'm sure what? that uh, that will calm them all down. Are you kidding me, buddy? We're preferred customers, I need buddy. some answers yeah. right now. Hey, get back here. <laughs> And then the best part, Arthur said, let's rent a Cadillac. <laughs> Mrs. Morehouse. Oh, thank heavens, so Arthur. Well, Mrs. Morehouse, it's Kenneth. Why are the lights turned off? Why is there a cult of sleeping people in the lobby? Oh, it's been a long couple of years. Ooh, Jazzy, is Jazzy okay? Who's Jazzy? Oh. <laughs> Jazzy! Of all the ways we can scare Mrs. Morehouse in the dark. <laughs> Think about all the ways Mrs. Morehouse scared in the dark will scare us. <laughs> ah! Okay. Graham, can we stay here with you? We were playing with the Ouija board and now we've woken up the spirits. Just let us in. It's the warlocks from the lobby. <laughs> warlocks? They're my friends. We're having a sleepover. Oh. oh. <laughs> Jazzy. Dad, what are you doing here? What happened to your Aunt Matilda? She must be around here somewhere. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wanted my friends to think I was cool. I know I messed everything up. I need to be able to trust you, Jazzy. It will never happen again. Promise? Promise. Right. Hi. 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 Amber. Uh, Mr. Flint. A word? A word, please? <laughs> the palm trees were swishing and swishing and swishing. And don't get me started to talk about that sunburn. I got burned in places I didn't know I had. Where's everybody going? It was great hanging with you today, man. You too, man. Bam, bam, bam. Sup. Catch you later, dude. Bye, bro. Maybe I'll stay here tonight. I thought you'd never ask, man. Cool. <laughs> and after your little stint today, this is where you'll be working and sleeping from now on. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> oh, babe. Well, I guess we live here now. Here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Amber throat to the counter. Oh, Amber, you are the guests have to register. Oh, Amber, you're kind and you're sweet. You make me feel complete. And you're named after a rock. Harrison Ford, you sly fox. <laughs> oh, Amber, you are the guest have to register. Oh, Amber, you're kind and you're sweet. You make me feel complete. Named <laughs> after a rock. Oh, Hug. Amber. Jay old Graham Ham, are you awake? I can't go to sleep. Graham Ham, too. Actually, 
can we please change my name to something non-ham related? <laughs> this is madness. You are the guest at the red. Actually, it sounds more like John Mayer. <laughs> are you thinking what I'm thinking? Kitchen Ray! <laughs> If my mom finds out we're sneaking into her kitchen for another kitchen raid, I'm a dead man. <laughs> we have to do something about that singing. It's kept me up for days. Me too, but there's nothing we can do. Um, have you met me? Doing stuff about stuff is kind of my thing. <laughs> and stopping you from doing stupid stuff is kind of my thing. <laughs> the Phantom of the Hotel is not something to mess with. He lives, he sings, he demands a sacrifice. Admit it, you're afraid. There's no phantom and I'm not afraid. I'm the bravest person you know. Oh yeah? Then I dare you to eat this raw egg. <laughs> okay, but I dare you to eat this raw fish. I can be you in a game of food there's any day, Jay Sizzle. <sighs> this is gonna be a long night, Graham Ham. <laughs> Oh, Mateo, you're so handsome. I am completely oblivious to your boring personality. I know, I have the charm and charisma of a wet napkin. <laughs> oh, well, probably because I'm just so nice and beautiful and talented and smell nice. And... Um. <laughs> it's not what you think. Yeah, I'm sure it's a lot weirder. <laughs> Girl problems? Since you asked. Definitely didn't ask. Look, Amber doesn't notice me. I know I'm not as cool as Mateo or conventionally handsome or unconventionally handsome. True. But I have dreams. I have ambitions. I have passions. Well, he is pretty hot. Plus, he has a cool name, Mateo. But Alex is cool though too, right? You should name yourself Xander. Not bad. I like it. Xander. Xander the Commander. No. <laughs> oh, this place is perfect. Thank you, yes. Oh, this old hotel, it's so spooky. Wow, hi, hi. Ready and action. The Deloon Hotel. Every year, thousands of guests come here, but one never leaves and never will. The Phantom of the Deloon Hotel. Are they here yet? Oh, welcome, welcome. Move, children. We spoke last night. I am the owner, Casper Von McGillicuddy. This is my hotel, therefore he is my phantom. And my boss, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Fear not, everyone. In the dead of night, I took it upon myself to call this ghost hunter and secure a solution to our demon dilemma. Feel free to shoot in every part of the Hotel de Lune, including but not limited to our luxury suites, our all-you-can-eat buffet, our comfort spa, <laughs> our activity center, and our world-class winery. Great. Cut. Carol, you could teach a class called How to Make Money Off Literally Anything. Great idea. I could make a lot of money. Okay, so now we're going to need access to the entire hotel, every room, every one. Done. Uh, that'll be very difficult, oh, actually. It won't be a problem. Except it kind of is. Well, it won't be. Quiet! I feel a presence. Cameras roll. I feel him here. He's very phantomy. Is that a word? Quiet. It's, it's like a ghost, but more present. Ah, <laughs> oh, he has not caught between worlds. He has chosen this one. But why? And who will be sacrificed next? All this and more coming up on this episode of The Ghost Hunter. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. We'll put the music in and post. <laughs> She's so good, how does she do it? Oh, brother, are you serious? Here I am, sensing something also. Is that your, I feel a ghost presence dance? <laughs> oh, your, I'm scared I'll be the sacrifice dance. Nope, it's my, you're lame for believing all of this stuff dance. <laughs> also my, I regret eating raw egg dance. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, but you're amazing. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know here. All right, uh, show me this hotel. I would be more than happy to. The cameras will be rolling, right? <laughs> well, that's four minutes I'll never get back. Oh, hey, Alex. 
It's actually Xander now. Are you having a stroke? Because our health care probably won't cover that. No. I'm just embracing the new and improved Alex. I mean, Xander. Oh, what's new and improved? Dreams, ambitions, passions. Hey, Mateo, meet our new bellboy, Xander. Amber, I already know. A you. sick name, Xander. I'm Mateo. I know. Oh, God. How does he know? Crazy. <laughs> Mr. Smith, right? Have you heard any strange singing at night? No, why? You've been staying here all week and you haven't heard anything? But it's so loud! Are you sure you've been in your bedroom? Fine. I go out every night and gamble at an illegal hamster fighting ring. <laughs> Don't tell my wife. Did she send you? I knew she hired a PI, two very tiny PIs. <laughs> How much do I have to pay to keep this quiet? Uh, 200. I mean, 400. <laughs> Thank you. You delete that footage. <laughs> ah, yes, the singing. I've been staying in the east wing of the hotel, and it's been keeping me up all night. And would you classify it as more as a John Mayer or a Justin Timberlake? Mm, I'd say more of a Michael Jackson. <laughs> So, are you going to give me my refund? No, I'm a detective and also a child. I want my refund. This hotel owes me $395 for keeping me up all night, and I'm not leaving until I get my money. Give it to him. Ew. Dirty money. <laughs> Do you have it in silver dollars? <laughs> Just checking. What are we even doing? We don't do supernatural mysteries. This isn't supernatural. There's a simple answer. Like the one you're gonna give to me when I dare you to eat this cat food I stole from Edna. No way, that's too gross. I dare you to do it. I dared you first. I thought you were the queen of food dares. I'm the queen of most things. Fine, I'll do it. Somehow that's not the strangest thing I've seen all day. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! The Phantom is here. I can sense it. Gather everything and everyone. We have a seance to shoot! <laughs> hey, you guys. I need more advice. We gave you Xander. What else do you need? Oh, Amber does that yoga class on a break. Go. Crows love a guy with inner peace. Okay. Amber. Peace. And jazz up that outfit. Like bedazzle it? No, <laughs> dress it down. That outfit you have on it is so try hard. He's trying hard to keep his job. Reeks of desperation somehow. Anywho, good luck and namaste. <laughs> namaste. And sun salute. I didn't realize you did yoga. I'd consider myself a man well-versed in inner peace. <laughs> and now we move into a sitting position. <laughs> and then cow face position. <laughs> Do you know the cow face position? Yes, cow face. My favorite of the face positions. <laughs> okay, here. Try putting this foot back here. Okay. Oh, <laughs> um, my hand is stuck between your leg and your butt. Oh, cramp, cramp, oh my God, woo! A, a cramp where, in uh, your leg or your butt? Everywhere, all of it, all I know is pain. Oh. Leg, butt, body and soul, oh! Oh, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, you know what, I'm just gonna go. Okay. Uh, a little help? Hey, Mrs. Morehouse, you've lived a full life. How does one charm a woman? Have you tried offering her father a heart of 
goat. <laughs> I just want to glow in her eyes the same way that she glows in mine. I might have just the thing for you. I'll try anything. <laughs> Stay. You, come with me. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, maybe I'm not the queen of food, dare. Shh. She's starving. Thank you for sharing in this supernatural experience. Please note that your participation in the seance is voluntary and should be taken at your own risk. So, please take that seriously. Oh, yes. 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 Silence! Now, to begin, put your hands on the table. So, okay. Don't touch, don't touch. Don't okay, touch. please, no talking, no talking. Will the Phantom of the Daloon Hotel please join us? Wow, babe. This is the second best seance I've been to this week. Wait, I thought you said we'd go on our first seance together. He's a fool and he lies to you. <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> wow, maybe she is a real deal. The fantastic energy in this hotel is off the charts. Ghost hunters around the world have to see this. Yes, and mention the Ghost Hunters show for a 5% discount. 1% discount. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Phantom, please give us a sign that you're here. Yeah, make a book fall. <gasps> oh! oh! That's real. <laughs> Ghost Hunter, how did the girl know? Does she have the touch too? <laughs> the girl is possessed? The demon has found its vessel! I'm not possessed, I'm... Oh. Whoa! Um, Babe, this is now the first best seance I've been to this week. You need to get better friends. Quick, father man, get your child up on the table. Everyone else move, move. You with the cute hair, help! Oh, please, Satan, forgive me. Oh, I hope our pact is still on. PJ Career. Let's go! Oh. Okay, okay, let's give us your name, Ghost Phantom. Oh. The Phantom has been extracted! It's not the reaction I was going for. Follow him! Come on! No, 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 not you guys, my crew, come on, go, go, go! go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Still not possess people. <laughs> if the phantom comes, he'll walk into this. Then we got him. It's like a web. The arachnid technique. I like it. <laughs> Thanks for letting me join your stakeout. I'm sorry I doubted the science. The science accepts your apology. <laughs> Shh, here comes. Oh, Amber, you are the ghost. That's not a ghost, that's Alex. <laughs> Mystery solved, again. Whoa. Wait, am I singing right now? You must be a secret sleepwalker or sleep singer, which I didn't know existed. It looks like you're cooler when you're asleep than when you're awake. Should I feel complimented or insulted? <laughs> are you kidding? You finally found your edge, serenader. Write her a song. Would that work? It'll get me, and I'm a nine-year-old boy. I'm gonna go write it. Thank you, tiny matchmakers. <laughs> Namaste. Jay Sizzle and Graham Ham. Detectives by day, love brokers by night. Dulu Detectives. Amber, prepare for the ballad of your dreams. Oh, okay. This is happening? This is happening. Well, oh, Amber, the girl who works at the counter. Well, oh, Amber, with you all the guests have to register. Oh, Amber, you're kind and you're sweet. You make me feel complete. And you're named after a rock. <laughs> Definitely not a ballad, but I'm melting inside. Um, maybe some time you'd like to get hey, together. You... Alex wrote me this song. He is such a good friend. <laughs> friend zone. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm afraid to say. Kitchen <laughs> rain! 
Alex is a phantom. What is that? More phantoms! Ah! <laughs> Ooh. Is that the new John Mayer single? Yep. <laughs> No, 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 ew. Get back to work. <laughs> Thank you. Come on now. It's a wedding, Graham. It's like a birthday, but on soda. Do you think they'll have a bouncy house? <laughs> I'm sure it will be the happiest day of their lives. I don't know, I can think of at least three better days. My birthday, Christmas, that time you almost drowned and needed mouth to mouth from that beautiful lifeguard. <laughs> Trust me, it will be super cool. Mm. Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that is amazing. <laughs> well, I mean, they're, they're all amazing, but of the three, I would definitely pick that one. <laughs> Kenneth, you sweet, innocent cake taster, you. <laughs> That's just the first three. Was oh, there a fourth? And a fifth, and a sixth, and a twentieth. I might have gone a little overboard. Oh, I don't think I've ever had that much cake. I mean, I'm glad to help, but, you know, not really a sweet guy. Really? Jazzy said that you were perfect for the job. Oh, well, I'm glad she did. <laughs> Me too. Hey, hey. <laughs> She'll be glowing in her gown. The groom will cry when he sees her. She'll walk down the aisle to Frank Sinatra. I bet she'll be jamming to Rihanna. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're maybe crying to Adele instead. What just happened? <laughs> Sounds like another job for the Jaloon Detectives. <laughs> Everyone is a suspect. You! What about me? You are not a suspect. None of us are suspects. We're all family. Some of us more than others. <laughs> it, uh, look, we are all trying to get to the bottom of this, okay? And we will, sir. Because we're the... Deloon Detectives! <laughs> and you. Yes, my darling. Where were you at the time of the scream? Oh, I don't know. <gasps> We've caught her red-handed! Oh. <laughs> People, it's food dye. I'm your chef. I was in the kitchen. Likely story. Oh. Were you alone? Yeah. Try this one. Red velvet. Tastes like chocolate, but it's red. <laughs> I don't know how you come up with this stuff, Perry. Genius! <laughs> Kenneth was there, too? Uh, well, I mean, he might have been. <laughs> Next, try vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> well... That is magic. <laughs> <laughs> she is the kitchen magician. Oh, Kenneth. I try. <laughs> you two guys are so cute together. Newlyweds? Uh, no. No, we're not together. Nope. Really? No. You reminded me of my wife and I back in the day. <laughs> the honeymoon phase. What phase are you guys in now? Speaking terms. <laughs> there you are. What? Cake? Really, Jerry? Do you remember what Dr. Greenberg said? Your heart can't take it. Dr. Greenberg named his daughter Starfire, and he drives a Kia Soul, and he knows nothing about what he's talking about. He's not allowed to have cake. He has a bad heart. He looks fit to me. You have a lot to say today, Miss Amber. I, I do? Where were you when the lady in white screamed? I was with the bridesmaids. You think we're gonna fall for that one again? Do you? 
let me tell you exactly what happened. Thank you so much for helping out. I can't believe the hairdresser canceled. You are doing an incredible job. OMG, thank you. I actually learned this on YouTube. No way, mm -hmm. you're so good at it. <laughs> can I be you? He is multi-talented. The dress, you can just lay that on the couch. Okay. And now back to you, Amber. Hey Amber, I just wanna let you know that while you're both killing it in apparel and beauty, I appreciate you most for your inner beauty and personality. I just met you, but I agree. <laughs> oh, wow, Veronica, Alex, that is so sweet of both of you. Alex, I'm so glad we're friends, and this relationship is totally appropriate. Me too. This is such a realistic interaction. <laughs> that wasn't suspicious at all. That wasn't at all what happened. You guys kept talking about a pact. No, we weren't. <laughs> what? No, <laughs> you're crazy. There's no pact. Thank you so much for doing this. I can't believe the hairdresser canceled last minute. No problem at all. I actually learned this from YouTube. See, I just swish the hair around like this. What's that burning smell? Uh, hello, 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 ladies. Royal delivery, one wedding dress. <laughs> That's hilarious. You are so funny. You can just lay it on the couch. Thank you kindly, my lady. <laughs> You're so funny. I'm so glad we're best friends. But you always make fun of my French accent. That's French? You're my future husband. It's my job to make fun of you. Wait, Alex is your future husband? Well, we do have that pact. A pact? Uh, you know the pact where if neither of us marry anyone by the time we're 35, we'll end up together? And you know, we can't wait till we're 35. Or we could push that up a few years. <laughs> Wait, what, what was that about a pack? Can, can someone explain it to me? Now back to the case. Casper. You'll never get it out of me. Excuse me? My lips are sealed. We didn't ask you anything. Good, because I wasn't with the groom at the time of the scream. Gosh darn it. All right, we're doing this again. Oh, oh. My one true romance was with a broom. It cleans, it's reliable, and it hasn't had a heart attack yet. <laughs> so I'm assuming your husband passed? Ooh, ooh, are you asking me if I'm single? Cause you are out of luck, pal. Oh, man. <laughs> My heart belongs to a new man whose name rhymes with Mon Stamos. <laughs> Yeah, cheers to that. Another. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh! What? No, no, that is entirely inaccurate. Yeah, that's pretty much how it went, bro. <laughs> okay, that's all the suspects for today. Can we please get on with this godforsaken wedding? Yes, we can. Wait! <laughs> you. Casper, Casper, Casper. Why did you say my name three times? Did you just put a spell on me? I have two questions for you. Where were you when the bride cried? And when was your last facial? Your pores are incredible. Thank you, aren't they? I was nowhere near the bride. I was yelling at him, our resident nitwit. We were discussing the wedding music and he kept insisting that we play Rihanna. Um, it's Rihanna? And that's a sensible choice. Don't encourage him. It sounds like you're lying to us. Are you lying to us? No, I'm not lying to you. That actually does sound like me. But wait, can we just go back to the pact? <laughs> so you can laugh at me, Rihanna. Mateo, Jeez. come on. I cannot have you damaging my quality vinyl. It's called scratching. But what is this? I, I want you in inexplicably expensive t-shirts and ragged jeans, earthy colors, something that screams hipster, but also apocalypse. You want me to change my stees? I refuse to learn what stees means, but I think you look like a bad sci-fi villain. Oh, well, I'm gonna take that as a compliment. Don't. 
Now, come on, what other DJs do you listen to? DJ Jazzy Jeff, DJ Tanner from Full House. Do you even know what a DJ is? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Dwayne Johnson, uh, Derek Jeter, dancer joggers. You're just saying words that start with a D and a J. Exactly, it's an acronym. Now, you listen to me, kid. Stick together and we're gonna make big bucks. You're not gonna have to live off shampoos and mini shower gels anymore. <laughs> They're proportional. So in conclusion, you're both idiots. Innocent idiots. The pack, though. Graham, can we have a word? Yes. Everyone stay here. Excuse, Excuse us. Me. We're out of suspects. Shoot. We are. Let's just play my mom and your dad, then. OK. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Has anybody seen my dang tissue box? Uh, <laughs> what? How do you... Are you... Us? No! He's... My daughter's ex-boyfriend. <laughs> That's why you're crying? No. I'm allergic to white roses. And you people. And you're everywhere. <laughs> and where were you when the wailing woman weeped? In the lobby, when she yelled directly into my ear. Queso! But hold on. O hold on. What case? The case of the missing bride. The one you scared away just by the sight of you. I highly doubt that the bride ran away just because you saw me. You need to leave. Trust me, I would love to. Nothing would make me more uncomfortable than listening to your cringe-worthy vows. <laughs> but I'm working. <laughs> You work? What happened to you? I have skills, but I just don't choose to use them. <laughs> what happened to your paleo diet? <laughs> if you're such a genius, then where's my daughter? I don't know, probably the hotel garden. It's covered in white roses. She knows that I'm allergic. Come on, let's go see Chris. <laughs> You don't have to explain, sweetie. I know this is all Flint's fault. Oh, seeing Flint cry was horrible. I'm not crying. These are allergies. Seeing Flint cry over me was very triggering. It reminded me of the time I had to kick him off my couch, and he was just lying there, flat, for three whole years. Excuse me, happy couple, Flint. If you're done crying, the wedding starts in 10 minutes. Oh, no, I can't. No, a Flint is watching. Miley Cyrus pre-wrecking ball, Miley Cyrus post-wrecking ball. Uh oh, rummaging through the trash again. It's not trash, it's fash. Oh, I should bread that. <laughs> I don't get it. Babe, fash is short for fashion. Oh, well that's dumb. <laughs> Does he want to fight me right now? Because I'll throw down. Oh, I'll throw down. <laughs> or not, babe, your niece is wild and just you thought I was her niece? <laughs> yeah, no, maybe, uh, just... <laughs> Babe, chill. We're shopping for fun fash the cheap way. Uh, if you took me shopping sometime, I wouldn't have to. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, that was below the belt, babe. <laughs> you know, my DJ career hasn't taken off the way I expected it after my first single dropped. Yeah, maybe if you had a better name for it than Despacito, but with tambourine. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's it. That's it. I'm done. You're not babe anymore. Excuse me. I need to... 
Is she okay? She'll be fine. But Mateo's on his last legs. Swoop and sweep her off her feet. Me? Yeah. <laughs> what? what, you think I have a crush on her or something? Come on. Everyone knows Alex. Everyone. <laughs> Do you know who that is? The Pirate of the Caribbean? <laughs> no, Liam Malcolm, he's my favorite. I can't meet him like this, my hair's so regular. <laughs> Uh, any chance there's a res for Janet Schwartz? No reservation. Is that your name? No, it's, well, my agent's name. I mean, okay, I'm actually an actor. My name is Liam Malcolm. We know who you are. Such big fans. Cool, so don't tell anyone. I'm doing research for a role as a homeless teen and I'm fully in character. Incredible. Well, Mr. Vagrant Teen, Alex here will show you to your room. <laughs> Where's my mother? Have you seen my mother and the young swindler trying to weasel his way into her will? <laughs> oh, hello, everyone. Oh, I want you to meet Sterling. He's my... Uh, my, what are you? Uh, masseuse, uh, assistant, mm. uh, companion. Oh, gold digger, grave robber, sugar baby. Casper, I would really love to sit down with you and talk to you about Sterling entering my life, our lives. He's scamming his way into your will, mother. I swear I'm not. Hush, sugar baby. <laughs> Well, when you are ready to talk about our family, I will be here. <laughs> Sterling, let's go to the mall. <laughs> Can we all agree that was the strangest minute of our lives? Also, he looked exactly like you. Me? He was a very handsome and imposing figure, striking cheekbones. Yes, you're right. That's why she likes him so much. <laughs> Where's that tiny detective? Pheasant! Wow, very fast service. Listen, I need you and that other one to get on this case and drive him from the Von McGillicuddy family forever. Family cases can get messy. I can pay you. Ren. <laughs> Okay, so here's the plan. If Sterling is trying to scam an old rich woman, we'll set up a trap. To catch him, I'll play Gertie, a 107-year-old rich woman who made her money by selling oil. So it's like catfishing without the internet part. Exactly. <laughs> and you can play Billy, my grandson. Sure, I've been acted since I played Hill Number 2 in The Sound of Music. Let's just say, play pretty convincing landform. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that, that's amazing, but you know you're playing a uh, human. Right? Come up for a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Flint, Flint, come here. <sighs> so, there's Amber, all heartbroken over Mateo, right? And then I'm gonna swoop in and give her this. <laughs> What's that? I mean, besides sad. <laughs> it's a neck pillow, you know, for airplane travel. She wants to travel the world. Maybe when she does, she'll use this and dream of me. Uh, she'll probably dream of having a better neck pillow. <laughs> Babe, I get the feeling you're mad. Understatement of the century. I'm livid. Uh, I don't know what that word means, but <laughs> get ready to be the opposite of it. Uh-huh. Babe! Mm -hmm. <gasps> <laughs> oh, babe, look at Alex. He made his own little weird necklace. It looks comfy. <laughs> looks like you've been in an accident. <laughs> well, I got a bolt, but there's more where that one came from. you see what Mateo got me? Uh, we saw, which actually brings up an important subject. Uh, we've had guests complaining about jewelry missing from their rooms. Now, I don't want to point any fingers, but, uh...
Is no one else connecting the dots here? Will you put this on me? Sterling, dear friend. Casper, hello. I want you to meet a dear friend of mine, a client I told you about. You're going to love her. She's very, very... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do, young man? Oh, my. You are indeed a little old lady. <laughs> yes. Well, I'll let you two get acquainted. Thank you. I'm Gertie. I was 5'10", but I've shrunken since my 60s. <laughs> Meet my grandson, Billy. Uh, okay. Billy! <laughs> this is humiliating. What did he say? <laughs> it is humid. Low tolerance for heat. Mm -hmm. But he's our little treasure. <laughs> Sterling, I'm Perry. I'm your head chef. Hello. And I wanted me to meet you. My pleasure. Graham? Yes, help me. I think I have something in my eye, dear. Can you help me? Investigation. Don't blow her cover. Oh, just a little dirt. Nothing a mother couldn't fix. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I've never had children. Just me and my money. <laughs> mm, didn't you say Billy was your grandson? Um, like a grandson. <laughs> My neighbor's child. Never getting any of my best fortune. <laughs> She's all alone. Oh, how very tragic. Snack. Hunger. You must have a mother who works way too much. <laughs> uh, dear Gertie, can I get you anything? Companionship? Like I said, I'm very, very... Very, very old. <laughs> so close to death, but so alone with my billions of dollars. Yes, that must weigh so heavily on your shoulders. You know, I am a masseuse, and I would love to help you with that. But I have to go see another client. Could I see you again? <gasps> Jack! <laughs> I mean, I want a jackpot. Back in 36. Next time, coffee's on me. Mm, then it's a date. <laughs> so long, Gertie. <laughs> I don't know how he did it, but he really stepped up his boyfriend game. The better man is winning. <laughs> You're both losers. <laughs> but how can he afford to buy jewelry? Hmm? An unemployed DJ who skips showers to save on his water bill? Wait, how is he affording it then? Alex, Mateo was the one who's stealing the jewelry from the hotel guests. All right, the stolen jewelry and the new jewelry gifts, they're linked. Oh, no. What makes you think that? <laughs> I just told you. I'm convinced. We gotta save Amber and expose him for the thieving rat that he is. Come on. Graham Slam, the G-Sizzle. I've infiltrated the lion's den. <laughs> Roger, Dodger. Let's cap it to one nickname per person. And remind me again, why am I doing this and not you? You were the only one who could fit into the plant costume. <laughs> Guess that's true. Oh, they're here. <laughs> oh, Edna, it's been quite a day. It's time yes. to get you into bed for a nap. All right. Here we go. And there you are. Oh. All right. A pillow! He's going to suffocate her! Do something! A pillow oh. for next support. <laughs> False alarm for next support. <laughs> Sliced meat, my favorite nap time snack. <laughs> Foiled again, sliced meats. 
Oh, Casper, better watch out because you're becoming my favorite son. <laughs> son? Son? Speaking of Casper, we need to talk to him. I think he thinks we're together and it's getting weird. <laughs> Weirder than telling him he has a long-lost brother separated at birth? That makes so much sense. Does it? <laughs> Edna, we need to tell him. What did it say? Turn it up! Go! Oh. Ryan! Ah, oh, Gertie, it's so good to see you again. You're looking even more beautiful than you did this morning. The secret to old age is acai bowls and daytime naps. Of course. Listen, our time together is very valuable to me. Valuable? Before we get any closer, I just want to ask a few questions. Oh, my God! She's a lady Malcolm. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Hi. Um, I'm a big, big fan of your face. I mean, I mean movies. <laughs> How did you recognize me? I'm, I'm in character. I'm unrecognizable. I have a good eye. A hug for an old lady? What? Hey, you're not an old lady. And you're a thief. I'm in character. I'm just trying to make it as a homeless vagrant teen. Never meet your heroes. Especially when they're in character. <laughs> Hand over the rest of the booty and beat it, Buster. What on earth is going on here, Gertie? Well, evidently, this is not a 107-year-old friend of yours. And Mateo isn't a thief. It's Liam Malcolm. And Sterling isn't Edna's boyfriend. He's her son. What? You're my brother? Yes! <laughs> you were separated at birth. I tried to tell you, but you were preoccupied with the will. Yes, and now I'll absolutely have to split my inheritance. Wonderful. It seems I've entered into my own personal apocalypse. I'm so glad you all could be here with me. <laughs> well, could someone explain to me this curious case of Benjamin Button? <laughs> Uh, to act in a play that I'm directing. I was testing out the believability of my young cast, and it looks like it was a success. Good see. <laughs> Can I get house seats? <laughs> but how did you pay for all this stuff? Oh, pay? Oh, no. <laughs> Can you believe someone left it in the lost and found? <laughs> Of course. Trash fash. I get it. It's cuter when I say it. Okay, you wanna throw hands right now? Mm, let's go. What's up? To bed. It's better than looking like sleepy time Satan. Citizens and subjects of the Hotel de Lune, we are gathered here this morning as a heinous crime has been committed beneath our very nostrils. Clary will tell us more. My most precious body of work, my manuscript, it was stolen. Yes, take us through that. Ah. At 
11.22 p.m. last night, I finished my latest manuscript, oh, The Secret Lives of the Hotel de Lune. And at approximately 3.21 a.m., I awoke from my slumber to find my manuscript missing. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't misplace it? I keep meticulous records of all of my property at all times. Casper's greatest life achievement is coining the phrase, tunnels are just hallways, but round? Yes, I do say that. <laughs> my manuscript. You found it! <laughs> Wait a minute! Where's the rest of it? Oh, and someone has edited it. There are corrections all over these pages. Alex is cute. <laughs> For a bellman? <laughs> Wait, is your manuscript about us? Oh, it may or may not contain personal information about each and every one of your lives. Scoundrel! <laughs> a stolen manuscript. A strategically left excerpt. Mysterious edits. This is getting pretty juicy. <laughs> Graham is a simple folk. His love for plants is a testament to the extent of his complexity. <laughs> hey, where is Graham Ham? I don't know but he's missing the most important case of our lives. A tiny firecracker. Jazzy has the wisdom of a monk and the body of a tiny Avril Lavigne. <laughs> she terrifies me. Awesome. Gasper! What? How is it possible that you couldn't catch an erotic author spying on us, a massive security breach, and a thief? Neglect, ego, incompetence. <laughs> Do you do anything around here? Well, according to Clary, it says Casper is Mateo's manager. What? <laughs> Casper's been managing Mateo's DJ career and funding his food and lodging in the hotel for the past six months. You've been spending company money on Mateo? DJs are the new Bitcoin mother. He's a lucrative investment, I swear. If you don't know what DJs do, you certainly don't know what Bitcoin is. <laughs> I can't believe Mateo didn't tell me any of this. He is a liar, and maybe he's also a thief. He wouldn't reveal that information about himself. Neither would Casper. It's probably someone we least expect. Like Perry. Maybe she's still mad about the time I tried to replace her kitchen staff with child labor. <laughs> She doesn't have access to all the rooms either. Then who does? Yes, who found a golden ticket? Woo! Mama just won the lottery. Woo! <laughs> Mrs. Morehouse. Uh, call me Cinnamon. <laughs> You're changing your name to Cinnamon? All my rich friends are named after food. Candy, ginger, Sapphire? <laughs> All right, Cinnamon, can you tell us where you were last night? Yeah, the usual. I won the lotto, I went out with the girls, I got a tattoo on my lower back, do you want to see it? Yeah. No, <laughs> no. Cinnamon, wouldn't it make more sense for you to just leave your job instead of hiring two maids to do the work for you? You mean I could just leave? I thought I was bound by blood to stay forever. You can leave anytime you want. In oh. fact, I actively encourage it. Oh. oh, girls, do you hear that? We're free! The spell is broken! Oh. Oh. Is it me? Or is it freezing? It's not just you. I don't know if anyone knows how to turn the heater on without Mrs. Morehouse. This room is so clean. I could eat food off of any surface. Nobody's tried to drink soap before. Better than Tide Pods. Look at this desk. 
It has no fingerprints. <sighs> Definitely not latex. It leaves a mark. Leather, maybe? A classy crook. A real Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> Is no one else worried about the fact that Mrs. Morehouse is just gone? She does a lot around here. Thank God she's gone. I would rather work with a gorilla with a feather duster. <laughs> I don't know, man. The circulation in my legs say otherwise. I'm an ice cube. Speaking of missing people, has anyone seen Graham? Oh, he was just here earlier, giving his dad the Graham tour. <laughs> his dad? Yeah, his dad moved back here for good. Oh. He didn't tell you. No, he didn't, and he tells me everything. Are we sure this has nothing to do with Mrs. Morehouse? I mean, I'm glad that Graham gets to see his father, but I don't want to lose my time with him. Why would you lose your time with him? Look around. A thief stole a book about our lives written by some crazy author spying on us. <sighs> A hotel can be a hard place to live sometimes. Right. Or maybe a guest who doesn't understand boundaries borrowed a book written about our lives, written... Oh, yeah, no, that doesn't work. Just like a scone. No matter how you look at it, it's weird. Well, between a 24-7 gourmet kitchen and solving mysteries with Jazzy, Graham isn't gonna go anywhere. You really think so? Worst comes to worst, we'll lock Graham in the pantry. Then he really isn't going anywhere. That's sweet. Also, frightening. <laughs> if we just compare the handwriting on the manuscript to the signatures on the employee's contracts, we should be able to catch the crook. Whose handwriting is that? Uh, Casper's. Look at this one. It's Mateo's. Can't tell if he signed his name or just drew a small family of shrimp. Wait, Mateo doesn't even work here. You're right. He lingers like a cough. <laughs> you know, Casper probably did this so we could pay Mateo with company funds. I still can't believe he didn't tell me. I'm so sorry, Amber. You deserve someone who's honest with you. Or at least someone with a shred of cognitive ability. <laughs> as much as I love raining on Mateo's parade. Wait, I think I found a match. <gasps> it's blurry. Wait, I think I see a... Oh. <laughs> Is that the furnace? Isn't it your job to know? I bet Mrs. Morehouse knows. Excuse me. I don't pay you to laze about the halls, do I? Jeez, bro, get off my case. Don't you cheese bro me. Now that our secret side hustle is out, the pressure is on to deliver. Where are you on your new single? Uh, I am at 17 views on SoundCloud. Great, how much money did that make us? None, SoundCloud's free. You're selling your beats for free? <laughs> is this a nightmare or is this a nightmare? What are you working on now, your double? My double? Is that what they call it when there are two DJs? Do you think this is tennis, bro? Okay, we can talk sports later, believe me. Right now, you have to work and focus. Your pressure is destroying my vision. <laughs> your lack of work ethic and direction are destroying your vision. Oh, are you trying to catch hands with me right now, bro? Are you trying to throw down? Is that what's up? I'm not even going to try to decipher that. If this is the way you're going to conduct yourself, I don't think I can do business with you. Oh, fine. I don't need you. I'll make it rain sick beats without you. That's what's up. That's not what's up. <laughs> this, another page of the book. Close second in the competition for the cutest couple goes to Amber and Alex. That's it. I'm out. Me too, but this way. Are we calling Mrs. Morehouse yet? How many times do I have to tell you this has nothing to do with her? Jazzy! 
Grandma, why didn't you tell me about your dad? I wanted to. I was just worried you'd be mad that I wanted to spend some time with him and not on the case. Mad? <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Really? Oh, what a relief. I have some news. I don't know if it's terrible or tremendous. Okay, I'm listening. Spill the beans. My dad asked me to come live with him. You mean move out of the hotel? Yeah. That would be major. Are you going to? Amber! I need to know, do you love me? Uh, why? What's happening? Do you love me or him? OK, I'm leaving the hotel. The music industry here can't handle me. <laughs> Let's just go away and travel the world. We can see all those places that you've been wanting to see. Babe. No, that's huge. If you were really my true babe, you'd come. What on earth is happening in here? Welcome to Hotel Armageddon. How may I help you? <laughs> this hotel is falling apart, Casper. How could you let this happen? Me? No, this is because of the absence of Mrs. Morehouse. Does no one know how anything works around here? Correct, no one. <laughs> Don't let me guess. You, um, spent time with Matteo planning his rise to fame? Uh, not anymore. He's lost his box of talent for good. A box of talent? That's one way to put it. Well, I suppose now is a fitting time to make the announcement that I am giving 51% of the hotel to... Sterling! What? No! You can't do this, Mother! You'll still have your 49. I was meant to inherit that 51. You can't do this. Oh, yes, I can, and I am doing it. Look at me. Don't are tell are me you coming you. with me, or are you staying here with him? I don't know. I just, please don't leave me here with these crazy people! I'm just shouting because everyone else is shouting! Ah! <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe we need Mrs. Morehouse. <laughs> Is this forever? I haven't been this cold and distant since my son told me he was starting an app. <laughs> Amber, we need to figure out who took the manuscript. And fix the hotel. Hello, these guests are running rampant. Must find manuscript. Must find manuscript. <laughs> what is this? Let me see that. This whole establishment was kept in place by Mrs. Morehouse, whose boss, Casper, is tired and incompetent. <laughs> tired and incompetent sounds like it should be the title of his biography. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you guys twins? Shouldn't you be friends? How can I be friends with someone who's always trying to be first? Out of the womb first! Into the unopened box of cookies first! Oh, <laughs> Sterling, don't be so trivial. You know, I think that hotel management would do well with a new pair of eyes, if you know what I mean. I think I do. <laughs> shall we then? Oh, let's shall. <laughs> you, employee, stop! Asper? Are you okay, man? Yes, yes, I just, I can't find anything. Well, what are you looking for? That damn manuscript. And also, maybe Mrs. Morehouse. Is she in here? Mrs. Morehouse! Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Morehouse is gone, man. Well, if she's gone, then who's to do her job? When someone abandons a post, someone else must replace it. Who am I supposed to find to replace Mrs. Morehouse? <laughs> you. You can be Mrs. Morehouse. No, man, I'm Alex. Look, I already push clothes around on the daily. You need to find someone who's unemployed. Or do I? <laughs> mm. Mateo, I need you back here right now. <laughs> I'll give you access to a hotel minibar and 40 bucks if you come back tonight. <laughs> I'm back. What took you so long? <laughs> it, it's, 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 um, 
this small house. It needs its intensive scrub or I will spontaneously combust. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm going to need you to not lick the heater. I'm starving and it's cold. We sell food here. <laughs> Casper, we need to talk. What is it now? I think Sterling is a manuscript thief. Go on. Who else would want to leak this tell-all information about the hotel except for the one who wants to take over? <sighs> How can two brothers look so identical yet be so fundamentally different. I know you would never use psychological warfare to trick your brother out of a job. You're right. I'm going to destroy him physically. Can somebody get me a beanie? Anyway. I'll go find Sterling and the manuscript. And get your little graham cracker to help you. I'll try, but he's been distracted. Don't try. I'm not paying for one of you. <laughs> yes, the beanie. I haven't forgotten. <laughs> Pepto-Bismol on ice. Just like you ask. <laughs> you look like my Arthur, but demure. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Morehouse. I think it's time we go back to the hotel now. Not a chance. I'm still detoxing. <sighs> Could somebody get me an acai bowl? <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying this. Um, the hotel is falling apart without you. We're all falling apart. Mrs. Morehouse. Uh, so, so sorry. Did you say something? <laughs> And there's another spot there. <laughs> there. I see. Yes. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Another spot there. Clary, the desk is so white it's turning blue. More bleach. Fine. <laughs> I'm grabbing gloves. <laughs> and I'm going in. <laughs> You okay? You're saying words, but I just can't hear them. Are you all right? Content? Satisfied? You decide. Graham wants to go live with his dad. Does he really? Yeah. He's moving out tomorrow unless I can convince him to stay. Are you smelling what I'm smelling? That I should cook Graham's favorite meal of ham and cupcakes to force him to stay in my home and in my heart? <laughs> Looks pretty good. Yeah. I wonder if we could use that as Febreze, though. Hmm. Oh. Maybe not. <laughs> We're dead. I've seen my life flash before my eyes. Wow. That was a hideous baby. Maybe he won't notice. No. No, dude. Yeah. We're fine. We're fine. Looks good. Yeah. We clean up well. Excuse me, sir. Can you spare a hay penny? You're not homeless. You're just cold. But food. Where is the food? In the kitchen, where it lives. Why does everyone think there's no food? That's it. We're not gonna. Take these conditions anymore! Yeah! Oh my god, don't riot. I will go find Perry, the keeper of the food. Yes, go. Try and clean up the mess you've made. Indeed, you are the mess I made, but it stops today. Say goodbye to the lobby, Sterling, for this is your last afternoon in the Hotel de Lune. <laughs> Then I am owed a continental breakfast. <laughs> it's in the kitchen. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yep. Like that? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> All right, well, hold on. One more. 
<laughs> this is perfect. He's never going to want to leave. Yeah. I just have to bake 15 cupcakes a day and make sure he never goes hungry and he'll stay by my side forever. Is this a good idea? I really don't know. Perry! Food! Now! Is Graham asking? Who? What? No! The hotel guests! They're revolting! They want food and they want it now. There's canned goods in the pantry. Perfect. Okay. To the pantry. <laughs> oh. Oh, mother. That was funny. Never had so much fun at the <sighs> mall before. I'm exhausted. Oh. Let's go. What's in the bag, Sterling? The floor was always brown, right? Sick. Dude, I can do it, okay? Just, just give it to me. Just give it to me. Just give it to me. Oh, what are you Well, this is why I should have been in charge of the vacuum. You thought it was a wheelchair from the future. You know, nobody asked you to come back here. Oh, except they did. Who? Your manager? Amber. Amber is not your groupie. <laughs> You're just mad because she loves me. What? Oh, 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 oh. Honey graham cracker. Mom, I'm busy texting Dad. I'm going to meet him for dinner at 10. Oh. But ham! He is. Cupcakes. Mm, your favorite combination of sugar and meat. I haven't been this excited since I learned Sour Patch made watermelon. <laughs> Wait, but I'm supposed to meet Dad for pizza. He doesn't know about the restaurants here. I want to show him around. Oh, I know you do. I want you to. But then there's ham. Yes. And cupcakes. Chocolate. <laughs> what a cruel world. <laughs> you little. It's not me. Stop spying on me. I know Casper sent you to do his dirty work. <laughs> Ma'am, you don't have to wear fingerless gloves. We get it. Amber, Amber. Mateo, what are you doing here? We've been through war. I'm back for you, Amber. So, who's it gonna be? Me or him? I have to decide. Oh. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to say? Well, I, uh... I, I knew it was you! Me who what? You! You're the manuscript thief. I just saw you in the basement, fudging with the electricity. You turned the heat off. No, I didn't. I was just trying to fix it, which is my responsibility. This is not your hotel. 51% <laughs> of it is, which makes me the owner. It's my time to come up on top. My time to be first. Uh, so it is you. You're the one who stole the manuscript. You're the one who revealed the hotel secrets into what? T to ruin me? No, I would never. I didn't steal anything. I'm gathering that you're telling the truth, which confuses me. Well, I hired you to figure this out, Jazzy. I know. I just can't figure it out without my friend. Graham! Ham or pizza? What's it gonna be? Well, if I go with the pizza, then I leave the hotel to live with my dad. If I eat the ham, then I stay here with my mom. Food and symbolism, two of my favorite things. If you were me, what would you do, Jazzy? Well, I understand where your mom's coming from. She's being protective. She wants her son to stay in the hotel. Wait, I should eat the ham? <laughs> Edna eats the ham. I mean, she's being protective. She wants him to stay in the hotel. Edna is a manuscript thief. Oh. <laughs> it was you. No. You stole the manuscript. 
You're the whistleblower. How dare you? I do not do such things. Why, I barely know how to breathe properly. <laughs> Look! I am never going back to that hotel again. <laughs> <laughs>